Some cars are just destined for good things. This 1933 Ford project started life as a concept build for a television show, ended up being partially built by a NASCAR crew chief, and was finally finished and sorted by a lifelong paint and body man. Any of those sources could have turned out an impressive car, but the combination of all three resulted in something truly special. To answer your first question, the body is a fiberglass piece from Bebop's Glassworks. There aren't exactly piles of Henry Ford steel bodies waiting to be cut up, so high quality alternatives like this are always a welcome sight. As with any fiberglass body, considerable time was invested in straightening out the details, and that work shows throughout. The top coat is split between a rich layer of black, which covers the lower portions of the body, and a metallic silver that works from the belt line up. The two-tone is split by a clean red pinstripe that adds a splash of color to the classic color scheme. With its NASCAR pedigree, it's safe to expect some power on tap. Between those tapered fenders, a 406 cubic inch provides plenty of motivation for the lightweight roadster. The core is a GM 400 small block that's been bored .30 over and filled with pieces like Forge Speed Pro pistons, a scat crank, scat I-beam rods, and a custom crane hydraulic roller cam for a rock solid foundation. The visible hardware is equally nice. At the sides, aluminum heads reworked by Tri-State Cylinder Head frame a polished Wii and intake manifold while fuel delivery is handled by a single Holly Street Avenger carburetor. There is certainly no lack of polish here either. The valve covers, air cleaner assembly, and breathers are finned and polished, held in place by polished hardware. Despite tight quarters, everything is within reach and the engine compartment shows just as well as the exterior. <laughs> like this Roadster, experiencing the joys of open air driving is priority number one. That's why you won't find many distractions inside, just more tasteful design and high level execution. A hand built console rises from the middle, offering space for the low car shifter, ignition, and a pair of switches. Seating is provided by a plush leather wrapped bench seat. The dash remains as stylish as the rest of the car with nothing more than a set of autometer gauges occupying its sleek silver surface. Hot small blocks, two-tone paint, and tasteful leather interiors are all classic pieces of street riding tradition. While trends may come and go, this 33 Ford is set up for graceful aging and a whole lot of fun on sunny weekends. If you're ready for a street rod that doesn't need 12 TV screens and yellow paint to catch your eye, take a second look at this subtle roadster. It might just be your new favorite cruising companion. For more information on this awesome roadster, call, click, or visit rkmotorscharlotte.com. Thank you.